hi friends my name is priyanka welcome to my channel so in earlier video i have shown you the demo of invoking python script in ui path uh, and in this video i'll show you the step by step implementation of invoking python script in ui path with api integration so uh, to implement the solution uh, we are considering one use case of getting a city name uh, from an end user and that will be passed on to the python script as a function parameter and then that script uh, will call an api and fetch the weather details so i have divided the implementation in few steps uh, so first we'll be getting the uh, request api and here i have used open weather map uh, to get the API to get the endpoint we can see that and then we will install the Python and uh, PyCharm ID and you can use any ID instead of PyCharm uh, if you wish so uh, then we will write a Python script to call an API and in the end we will invoke that script in UiPath studio so let's get started uh, with the step number one and uh, so yeah. Uh, to get the API, uh, go to the openweathermap.org uh, website, okay? And uh, go to the API section. So uh, you'll find a lot of API here. Yeah. So I have used current weather data API for this implementation. And by going to API doc, uh, you'll find how we can call API. So I have used uh, the first API call uh, in this uh, video. So, so here we can replace the parameter, for example, uh, the city name. So let's say, put any city name and the API key. So to get the API key, you have to uh, like sign up or sign in to open weather map uh, website and uh, once you sign in you'll uh, under under the API key section uh, you'll find uh, the API key so you can copy and uh, you can check here you can paste here yeah so uh, this is the JSON format so this is the weather details for the city I've entered uh, and so we got the data in a JSON format. Okay, so now we have already our uh, API with us. Uh, now let's move on to step number two, uh, which is installation of Python. And uh, to install the Python, you have to go to the uh, Python official website, which is a python.org and over here uh, in a download under the download section you'll find the uh, download you'll find the release and from here you can download uh, the python and uh, while downloading the python you'll get one checkbox uh, to set up the path uh, so that you can uh, by by checking that uh, checkbox uh, you can uh, set up the path otherwise uh, you can also set up a path after installation by you know going to uh, advanced uh, settings of environmental variable and you can uh, set up a path okay to check the python uh, is installed successfully uh, we can and path is set up so we can go to the command prompt and uh, simply uh, let's, let me open cmd yeah and simply you can type python so you'll get the python version uh, so that means uh, python is uh, installed successfully and uh, so here we have completed our step two and uh, moving forward to step three uh, to install pycharm you can go to the browser and you can just uh, search pycharm and uh, so you'll you'll navigate to this page and uh, like by going to this page like www.jetbrains.com so you'll uh, find this page and uh, by clicking on the download you'll find two version of pycharm id uh, which is professional and community so community is the free version so you can download uh, it by clicking download button 
so we can go to the pycharm id pycharm id will launch and uh, we can write the code okay but before writing a code um first we have to create a project so to create a project we have to go to the file then click on new project and we have to give a name so for example we say a demo okay so let's say create so yeah okay this is how you can create a project okay so after that uh, after creating a project you have to create a python file so by right clicking on it uh, new and python file so you can give any name like suppose whether python file okay so it will automatically take dot py extension okay so this is how uh, we uh, we can create a project and we can create a python file so i'll open my previous uh, project which i have done yeah so this is uh, this is my file like i have created earlier and uh, so before explaining the code i just want uh, to import this package uh, request package to interact with an api so to do that uh, i'll do it here for this uh, uh, python script okay so to to import the request module in our code so we have to go to the file then we have to go to the settings then project interpreter project demo then uh, like we have to go to under project and then project interpreter so all the package list you will get it here and we have to install uh, the request package okay so to uh, to install the package we have to go to this uh, we have to click on this plus button and we have to search request okay so we got the package and uh, we have to click on install package so uh, by clicking on install package uh, the package will get installed and you'll get one successful message over here after installation completed see so request uh, package request installed successfully so let so you can find uh, the package over here which we have installed currently okay uh, so I have already installed uh, this request package for this uh, script. So I'll uh, now I'll just shortly explain the code here. Okay, first we are importing the request package uh, to interact with an API. Okay, then we have created a function which is taking a city as a parameter. Uh, then I'm assigning the assigning a request API to the variable called address. So which is uh, this API we have. Uh, taken from uh, yeah so the, this this API we are passing here okay and uh, you can see over here this Q parameter Q is uh, like we are giving a city we are giving a city name Q equal to city but I am just uh, keeping it uh, as a blank and I'm uh, getting that uh, name city name as a parameter so user will give a parameter like user will enter a city name and that parameter is I am uh, concatenating with the with this address and come uh, and making a URL a whole URL okay So this this will be a city name will be a dynamic parameter over here, and after that, uh, so now uh, we have a weather data, and uh, I'm calling a get method of a request uh, module, and uh, to get to get the uh, data from URL uh, to get the data from URL, 
and uh, that will that will be stored in a variable called data so now we have a weather data in our data variable in a json format but we have we have to fetch only few details like uh, like i'm uh, over here if you can see there are so many details but uh, but I just want uh, only few details like temperature, wind speed, humidity, and description. Okay. So, so in this way, I am accessing uh, the particular JSON data like using that uh, data variable of square bracket. So uh, we are returning uh, the single value. That is why I've created a tuple over here, which is a weather data and uh, casting uh, into uh, it into the string okay so i am i have converted that tuple into the string because uh, we have to pass it on to the ui path studio uh, that th this value in a string format so i have uh, converted into the uh, tuple into string and returning that uh, that tuple uh, no, not as a tuple but uh, now in a string format i am returning that uh, weather data weather underscore tuple um, as a string uh, to uipath studio so here uh, our script is uh, ready to run and uh, so only we have to call it from the uh, uipath studio so we have to invoke the script from uipath studio so let's go to our last step uh, of invoking the script in uipath so to do that we have to go to the uipath studio and uh, to invoke the python script we have to uh, first of all install the python package from our manage package so to do that go to the manage package go to the all package and uh, search python okay so you'll get this uh, uh, package uh, which is uipart.python.activities and you can simply uh, select and install it i've already installed so then after that we have to just uh, create one sequence and uh, drag the python scope activity so we have to give the path actually where uh, where the python has installed and uh, select the target environment accordingly okay so here we have to give the uh, path like for example uh, this this is the path where i have installed my python okay and uh, we have to select the environment target environment so for 64 bit um, we have to select x64 and for 32 bit we have to select x86 then so inside the python scope now uh, we can drag we have to drag the uh, load python script activity and in this uh, we have to pass on the script uh, we have created and uh, the output would be uh, since uh, that will be using a uh, while invoking method okay so then uh, then we are asking a user to enter the city name with the help of input dialog activity and uh, we are storing the input into a variable called city after that uh, we are just uh, using the invoke python method activity that will call the python method uh, from the script so our method is fetch okay so uh, the input for this uh, activity is the instance that we have created uh, in a load python script activity then the name of a method which is fetch in our case that we have created here and the parameter input parameter that we have uh, you know passing uh, to the script which is city okay and our very uh, and our user input uh, is is stored storing it uh, into the city variable so that we are passing as a input parameter over here okay so so using a get python object uh, we, we we are converting our python object uh, like python uh, output object output uh, into a string format so now we are having our weather data 
in a string format which will look like this i'll show you over here so this is uh, so this is our data so it is you know capturing the data in this format okay so here i have performed some string operation like i don't have this brackets and this comma and uh, what i what i did so first of all i have removed that brackets so using you know a uh, split method the first and last bracket that's it and uh, uh, then then later on uh, the these value i have assigned to a particular variable okay so depending on the uh, array like value of array i am separated by comma okay so i have assigned all this value to this variable called temperature humidity wind speed and description accordingly so these are the string operation you can uh, do it in like different way so i have i've done it uh, in this way uh, then at the end i am just uh, printing the whole uh, whole message and uh, with some uh, descriptive uh, with some description like uh, please find the weather data for the city and uh, the city entered by user then the values that we have uh, got okay so yeah so our script ends here i mean our workflow ends here so let's go ahead and run the flow so you can see the demo also so now it is asking me a city name so i am entering pune so yeah here we uh, got the output so the temperature humidity wind speed and weather seems like rain so yeah that's all for now thanks for watching my video and stay tuned for more such videos thank you